Welcome back to CDA Computer Tips. My name is Christopher Duncan. You know, it's likely you've had to sit through a boring presentation or two that was just one bullet list after another, unless you're one very young, two very old, or three very, very lucky. Count your lucky stars if you're one of the fortunate three. But now that it's your turn in the spotlight, how do you keep from boring your audience to tears? We can start off by recognizing one important fact. If you put all of your bullet points on screen at one time, your audience will finish reading them long before you finish talking about the first one. Even worse, they weren't paying complete attention while they were reading, so you may have failed to get some important facts across. Animating your bullet list on screen is a great way to keep your audience engaged while you make the presentation, and it's easy. As you can see on screen, I've got a bullet list here with four items. To get started, all I have to do is click in the bullet list. Now I'm going to go to the Animations tab. And here on the Animations tab, I have the Animation Group. I'm going to click on the More button. The More button is the downward arrow with the little bar across the top of it. And now you can see I've got Entrance Effects. I've got emphasis effects, I've got exit effects, and if I scroll down, I've also got motion path effects. For our purposes today, we're going to start off easy. We're going to use an entrance effect. I'm going to click on the fly-in animation. And now you can see I've got a great preview of what it looks like. To see what the slideshow looks like now, I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut F5 to show the slideshow. And then I'll press the space bar to go forward. As I continue to click the space bar, it's going to load in each bullet. Now that I'm through previewing, I'll go ahead and press the escape key. So that was good, but you may have noticed a little hiccup there. When I loaded the slide before the storm, I didn't have any content on it. What I want is for the first bullet to go ahead and automatically animate on the screen. To make that happen, I'm going to click on the text again. And now here on the Animations tab in the Advanced Animation group, I'm going to click on the Animation Pane button. Now on the right hand side, I have my Animation Pane. And you may notice there are two little double chevrons pointing down. If I hover my mouse on them, they say click to expand contents. Now I can see all of my animations, and I can see the 1, 2, 3, 4 here also corresponds with the 1, 2, 3, 4 list of my bullets. So I'm just going to select the first bullet, number 1, in the animation pane, and then click the drop down arrow beside it. And from the drop down, let's choose Start with Previous. Now you can see my bullets have been renumbered 0, 1, 2, 3. And let's use the same keyboard shortcut again to go back and see how this looks. So I press the F5 key, and now I press the spacebar key, and you can see it automatically animates the first bullet on screen. As I continue to press the spacebar, the rest of my bullets will come on screen. That's it for today, folks. Have a great day.